From tikkas to parathas, dal chawal to biryani, Dhaba Foods rustic charm is almost inimitable. I'm sure with this recipe, you are going to be all nostalgic about your last road trip. Hi guys, this is Ruchi Bharani. Welcome to Rajshri Food, and let's begin with the recipe for Dhaba style aloo gobi. So the first step is to boil some potatoes. I've taken two potatoes, cut them into one inch pieces, and kept them to boil. Also. I had taken about 250 grams of cauliflower and cut them into big florets and parboil them. So now the next step is to heat some oil. Take about a tablespoon and a half of oil in a pan. Turn on the flame. Once the oil is nice and hot, add in the cauliflower florets. Also, let's check on these potatoes. If they are done, we'll add them to drain the water properly before adding it into the oil. Fry these in the oil for about two minutes. Let these vegetables cook at least for a good two to three minutes and catch a little bit of color. And now I'm going to add in a little bit of turmeric powder. Toss them up. You could even deep fry these vegetables, but I just decided to toss them up in a little bit of oil. Let's get them out of the pan now. Now in the same pan, I'm going to heat some more oil and some ghee. So a tablespoon of oil and a tablespoon of ghee. Once the oil and ghee is hot, I'm going to add in a teaspoon of cumin seeds, two cloves, two pieces of cinnamon, and two small bay leaves. Once the dry whole spices are roasted in the oil, let's add in one shredded onion. Stir fry these onions till soft, not brown. Next, add in two green chilies, roughly chopped, one tablespoon of finely chopped ginger, one tablespoon of finely chopped garlic. Stir fry all these ingredients. Next, add in two tomatoes, finely chopped. Let these tomatoes cook till they are nice and soft. Once the tomatoes are half done, let's add in the spices: one teaspoon of coriander cumin seed powder, half a teaspoon of red chili powder, half a teaspoon of garam masala powder, mash the tomatoes lightly. Once the tomatoes are well cooked, into this I'm going to add in one tablespoon of kasuri methi. It's quite a bit, but I want a very strong flavor of the kasuri methi, so add it in. Also, half a teaspoon of sugar. Next, add in the potatoes and the cauliflower. Toss all of this together for a minute. After cooking the vegetables in the masalas for about two minutes. Let's add in about half to three fourth cup of water. Add in salt. Give this a good mix, and let this cook for at least two minutes. Cover this. Reduce the flame. This should be done. Let's open it up. Mash about one or two pieces of potatoes. That helps in thickening the gravy. Make sure there is a little bit of water. And now I'm going to turn off the flame because this is done. Let's plate this. Let's garnish this with a little bit of coriander leaves and serve this with some plain parathas, some rotis, for which the link is in the description box below. Serve it with some onions as well and some lemon juice, and I'm sure you're going to enjoy this. For more such simple and easy recipes, stay tuned to Rajshri Food every Monday. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.